I remember when I played a cucumber in the health pageant. You played a cucumber? Yes, I did. And I was very, very nervous. But once I got up there and jumped into the salad bowl with all the other vegetables, I was fine. <laughs> started to get offers for other work and I liked that a lot. That was good. Um, and I had meetings set up in Los Angeles vis-a-vis -vis the agents and what have you and I suddenly found myself, you know, sitting at lunch with incredibly important people and famous people, desperately trying not to spill something on myself. I remember having um, lunch with Neil Simon and Herb Ross which, hello, uh, just even saying their names, you know, scares me. So, no, well, and I remember I had on a scarf, of, and I remember at the end of the, um, the lunch, I, uh, I was incredibly careful, and at the end of lunch, I wiped my face with my scarf, <laughs> which I thought was, you know, so me. <laughs> and I think Neil had said something like, you know, you're wiping your face with your scarf. I said, yes, I do that all the time. <laughs> Quirky me. <laughs> there were a couple of uh, TV movies in between, and there was a feature that I was supposed to do that went into what's called turnaround, and it got bought by another studio. And there was a lot of waiting around for projects that I was attached to that didn't get made. And uh, I had uh, gotten a call from the agent saying, Gary Marshall wants to see you. I thought, great, I'll wipe my face with my scarf again. Um, but he would probably help you with, he'd probably use your scarf to wipe He would face. write something great about, right there. It's a story about a scarf and a girl. Um, <laughs> and I thought, great. And he pitched the show Angie to me, um, which was really amazing to have Gary Marshall pitch a show to you. It's like watching a show, having him pitch a show. And I remember him saying, uh, uh, she's a girl at a place, and you know she uh, she she doesn't know how to deal with rich people. And she asks somebody, and they say, "Well, when you throw a big party, you give them a party favor." And she forgets. So at the end, she gives everybody five dollars, and she says, "Here, go buy yourself something." <laughs> Hearing Gary Marshall tell you that, you know, y y it's so funny. And I thought, this is great. I'd love to do this show, and and I couldn't at the time because I was signed to something that ultimately didn't get made. So I said, uh, you know, I'd love to, but I don't think I can. And he said, what? I said, I, I don't know if I can. We'll, we'll see. And um, he said, OK. And he called ABC and said, she doesn't want to do it. I don't think, you know, which is pretty weird considering, you know, the state of television now and uh, <laughs> people saying, please, let me, let me just work. I'll go over there and give you a bagel. Um, but at the time, I was on s so many various plights to do other uh, projects that uh, uh, the powers around me kept saying, you know, well, we'll wait on the TV. And then finally, I said, you know what? I really want to do this. I, I let everything else fall. And I don't want to just keep waiting. I, I am so blown away by this man and his talent and this idea of this show. So we went back to it. And the rest is uh, Angie. <laughs>